Fresh off her Clexicon appearance this year, Bridget Reagan has booked a recurring role on The Winchesters. How exactly will she be acting in the supernatural prequel The Winchesters as she takes up the role of the wicked DJ? Let's find out in this video, so make sure you stick with me to the end. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. First up, The Winchesters pilot, CW confirmed that the show is coming back this fall. Told from the vantage point of narrator Dean Winchester, supernatural vet, Jensen Ackles, the Winchesters promises to tell the epic untold love story about how John Winchester, played by Drake Roger, met Mary Campbell, Meg Donnelly, and put everything on the line not only to save their love, but the whole world. In a tweet, the Winchesters pilot CW confirmed that the show is coming back this fall. According to the Instagram of Daniels Ackles, the first season of the Winchesters has been entirely filmed. We can also estimate the possible time this fantasy show will come out from the Winchester's pilot CW Fall 2022 schedule. According to that, the Winchester's prequel will hit back on TV screens on Tuesday nights, premiering Tuesday, October 11th at 8, 7 central. Next up, the Winchester's cast and characters. Fans of the Supernatural are way excited for the Supernatural prequel, The Winchester's. In this fantastic prequel, you may see new faces, but it does follow the theme of the horror hunter world created in previous seasons. CW has cast Drake Roger as John Winchester and Meg Donnelly as Mary Campbell. John and Mary are the main leads of the story, around whom the story revolves. Jared Padalecki will bring to life Sam, and Jensen Ackles will do the same with Dean Winchester, the two demon-hunting brothers. The rest of the cast includes Bianca Kojlik as Millie Winchester, Jojo Fleetis as Carlos Cervantes, Demetria McKinney as Ada Monroe, and it continues. So who is Bridget Reagan, and how will she appear in supernatural prequel The Winchesters, taking up the role of the Wicked DJ. We'll find out in this video. The American actress Bridget Catherine Reagan was born on February 3rd, 1982, in San Diego County, California. She was born to parents Mary Catherine and Jim Reagan. Her mother is of German descent, and her father is Irish. She grew up in the Roman Catholic faith. Also, she didn't discuss her youth much. Regarding her education, she graduated from San Dieguito Academy High School in Escanti, California. Then, she joined North Carolina School of the Arts. She graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts. What about her career progression and achievements? How did she get into acting? After graduation, she moved to New York and began to pursue her acting career. But according to some sources, she entered the industry as a child actress. As a child, she starred in North County productions of The Wizard of Oz at the Paloma Theater, then worked for Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat in Carlsbad. The American American actress Bridget Reagan has made a name for herself for her many roles on television. Her notable roles include Kelana Mel in Legend of the Seeker, Rose Salano in Jane the Virgin, Agent Carter as the devious Dottie Underwood, The CW's Batwoman, where she had a too short arc as Pamela Isley, aka Poison Ivy, and Rebecca Lowe slash Rachel Turner in White Collar. She also played the role of Sasha Cooper in the TV drama The Last Ship with Rona Mitra and Travis Van Winkle. That's some interesting history she has. So how will she appear in Supernatural prequel The Winchesters taking up the role of the Wicked DJ? According to The Wrap, Bridget Reagan will appear in several episodes as Rockin' Roxy, a sweet-voiced pirate radio DJ who hijacked the airwaves of Lawrence, Kansas to spout a mean new sound. Not very surprising, being the world of Supernatural and all, Roxy listeners aren't all of the human variety. How familiar are you with Supernatural? Supernatural, a project of CW was the longest ever horror fantasy show to broadcast on TV screens. With tearful goodbyes after a long run of 15 seasons in 15 years, the show bade farewell in 2020, and now it's ready again to star on screen with a prequel series, The Winchesters. The Winchesters are here to cover some unsolved mysteries of the supernatural. What about the Winchesters plot? What will it be about? Supernatural fans know quite well who the Winchesters are. They were depicted as the humanity saver who kept fighting back against demonic entities. All of their wisdom, fighting spirits, and exceptional expertise were indirectly the family's heritage. The Winchester's prequel is a fantasy show featuring the unsolved mysteries of the supernatural, like how Sam and Dean's parents, John and Mary, met each other, how they together became the savior of the world and their love. It showcased the world of 1972, starring Drake Roger as a young guy, John. The character of John is depicted as a guy 
who, on return from the Vietnam War, got caught up in a perplexed condition facing the strange disappearance of his father. He then met Mary, Meg Donnelly, as he helped her in a battle with a demon. Mary is also facing the mysterious disappearance of her father, so it was actually the disappearance of John and Mary's fathers that brought them together. The official trailer of the most anticipated The Winchesters got released on May 19, 2022. The trailer features Dean inclined on the Winchester's Chevrolet Impala. In the official trailer, we discovered some scenes from Supernatural, including a glimpse of the Men of Letters. The two unfamiliar faces in the trailer as young hunters also accompany Mary and John in their typical CW hunt. However, you may find this situation contradicted from the Supernatural's beginning, as Mary didn't like John until they got struck by a matchmaker's arrow, and John was totally blank in hunting until the death of Mary. These contradictions are explained in the Winchester's Supernatural prequel through a scene with a memory erasing angle. Don't be amazed, in the Supernatural world, anything is possible. In other news, a spin-off of Berlin from La Casa de Papel has already been announced that would have the green light to land in 2023. It is about the series Berlin, based on the character we met through La Casa de Papel. Berlin, Pedro Alonso, this villain and mastermind of the entire robbery, along with his brother, El Profesor, played in the Spanish series by Alvaro Morte, was one of the most admired characters in history, and generated a lot of empathy with the audience. As the antithesis of his brother, Berlin was a man to be feared. He had no half measures, and was very clear about what he wanted. He did things his way under the motto, the end justifies the means. Although Alex Pina often minimalized the idea of creating new stories derived from La Casa de Papel, he finally succumbed to the idea of making them. Speaking to Oprah Daily, the series creator stated that they have a lot of possibilities for some spin-offs, and I think that's thanks to the strong and powerful identities of the characters. He went further to state that they have always wanted the characters to have a very complex, layered design. Thus, with the announcement of the last installment of episodes of La Casa de Papel, it was announced that Berlin would have its own series where all the details of this man would be revealed. In the concluding seasons, we met a great love from Berlin, Tatiana, played by Diana Gomez, who was part of another of Andre's broken relationships, and we also learned about the existence of her son. Surely in this spin-off, the first years of life of Andres and Sergio, the professor's real name, the link with Palmero, Rodrigo de la Serna, and how he managed to steal the 434 diamonds on the Champs-Élysées in Paris will be addressed. Although Alonso only appeared in the first installment, he has made many return appearances in the form of flashbacks throughout the series, all of which have been landmark events. Following the conclusion of La Casa de Papel, Alonso also made the announcement that his series will air during a party hosted in Madrid at the Palacio Vistalegre. It will be a memorable moment, because it's the end of one cycle and the beginning of another. Only Pedro Alonso has been confirmed thus far, although it is expected that both De La Serna and Morte, as well as Gomez, will be part of this new series. It's possible that the recordings may begin this year, though a start date has not yet been announced, which would generate a premiere only in 2023. Next in other news, Nicolas Cage receives the highest score for the film in which he plays himself. Nicolas Cage has and will surely have a great year. The upcoming premiere in Latin America of the comedy The Weight of Talent, in which he plays himself, has received the best reviews. In this film, Nicolas Cage plays precisely Nick Cage, the Oscar-winning actor for Goodbye to Las Vegas and Hollywood Megastar. I mean, he plays himself. Nicolas Cage told The Hollywood Reporter that he wasn't sure he wanted to be part of this movie. The critics regarding this film were unanimous, with the idea that it's one of the funniest movies of the year. So that concludes today's video. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Also, let me know in the comments section what you thought of Bridget Reagan playing the role of the Wicked DJ in the Supernatural prequel, The Winchesters. Thanks for watching. See you next time.